Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am doing a daily love reading for the 25th of September. Um, I am just going to do a collective love reading because um, I just did a huge Saturn-Pluto conjunction um, video by each sign on um, for January 2020. You can find that on Vimeo. The link will be down below. Um, and it's all in one video. So you can check your every uh, sign in your chart as, long, as well as friends, family, relationships. All the zodiacs are in one video. So check it out. It's pretty cool. All right. Be down here and we'll get started. All right, the first card out that was quick the Emperor could be an Aries dealing or dealing with an Aries, but this is just really um, sitting back and thinking about what needs to be done, what you need to do. Wow, two majors in a row in regards to love. You could have a decision you have to make. Um, you could have two lovers to choose from. You could have, you know, two things that you love that you need to choose from. There's a lot of choices that goes um, with these two cards. But really just sitting back and deciding what do I need to do and where do I need to go from here to achieve um, what you want to, uh, what you want to out of work, out of, out of love, whatever the situation is. Could be dealing with a father figure too um, that's trying to um, have an effect on who you love. I'm also seeing that. Wow. This is a connection that's that's getting a new spark. Um, this relationship allows you to be creative, allows you to um, holy cow, king of wands. Look at that. So many big cards. So um, this could be creating a new business, uh, sitting back, thinking about what it is that you love, what you can do to put it out into the world, having a creative idea. Um, the King of Wands is all about being an entrepreneur. It's about, um, you know, the visionary. But this King of Wands looks pretty unamused with something. Um, this fire sign could be waiting for, well, it doesn't even have to be a fire sign because I'm reading for the collective. So this person is waiting for this person to make a decision. Uh, even though there's so much passion here and so like, there's such a potential with this new opportunity, yet this person is still sitting here trying to choose, leaving this person very, um, very, uh, I don't know. He's just not amused. There's a lot of confusion here as well. It's like, what is the holdup? What are we waiting for? If we know we both belong with each other, what is, what is the deal here? All right. The Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Time to kick it in gear. Somebody has taken a very long time. Um, making a decision here in the near future. It's like this person was very stuck, very stagnant um, in this connection. And even though they felt that's who they meant were meant to be with, there was still a delay because there was one too many people in the kitchen. One too many cooks. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. So you are dealing with somebody who has that that thing about them, that spark that you know this person loves you. You absolutely know their love runs so deep, so passionate for you. Um, 
and you know that they could be everything that you have hoped for, everything that you had wanted, yet you find it hard to communicate with them. You find it hard. You could have cut communication off from them. Um, wow. But the truth is coming out. You want to communicate with them. You want to tell them what you realized. You want them to know that you do see this future with them. You could fear getting rejected by this person because you put them in this situation, because you put them in this position. Um, let me get the outcome card here. You got the Hierophant as your outcome. Let's get two clarifiers. Why is the Hierophant here? With the Queen of Pentacles, wifey material. The Star and the Two of Cups. Wow. Now that is a hell of an outcome there, guys. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the uh, Nine of Wands. There's something, one more thing standing in your way, and that is releasing the burden of the past. Um, cutting your, or taking action after a transformation. For some of you, that, third, that other person you are married to, um, it's time to move forward making a choice one way or another. Either uh, release the spouse or the significant other if you're not necessarily married. Or let this person go because they deserve to be with somebody who's going to give it their all. So let me get some clarifiers here. So, wow, I can't get over that outcome. That's amazing. All right, why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? My goodness. All right, so, oops. Um, it's time to take charge. It's time to make plans. It's time to step forward. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo, or you are the Aries or Virgo sun moon rising or venus either that or it's just somebody who is in a masculine position where they are in control of their lives has taken a step away has cut off communication has uh disappeared pretty much um that person needs to make a choice they need to follow their passion they need to have the courage to come out of the silence um, and fight that last battle that needs to be fought in order for you to get this true love or this love of a lifetime is how you view this person. There's the lovers here. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion. One of them could be uh, intentionally causing confusion or this person is very confused, making it almost difficult to make a decision. Um, so instead, there's just this Fear that has overtaken them. Fear is creating this block. Um, they could be with, you know, superficial relationships, just trying to fill the void, trying to forget about you. But they know that you are their future. They know that um, their abundance, their their passion, their love lies with you, and only you. Um, Wow. With the King of Wands. Yeah, this person's tired of waiting. Um, tired of waiting for this offer. Tired of waiting for you to make a decision. For you to get unstuck. It's now or never. Are you going to lay that burden down or I'm walking away? Are you coming in my direction or I am done? I'm giving up. I'm releasing the heaviness of this whole dramatic situation that this person put you in put yourself wherever you fit one one place or the other but this person they know their they know their worth they know their value they know they have a lot of options in love um they could be their own they could own a business their finances are in order their you know mind body and soul has has healed um and they're ready to put themselves back out there so it's either come forward and make this offer or somebody else is going to because they've been waiting a long time for that opportunity for this to move forward let's press pentacles here in reverse 
the Ace of Swords. And once again, what's at the bottom of the deck? The Nine of Wands. So whoever was stuck needs to come forward and speak the truth. It's time to live your truth. It's time to quit hiding in this hermit and live uh, live your truth. Quit living a lie. Not necessarily a lie, but not coming forward, speaking how they truly feel about this other person. The divine has brought you clarity. It's now your turn to take the steps moving forward um, and get out of that place of delay to get ready to fight your last battle of releasing the heaviness of uh, whatever it is that's holding you back. For some of you, it's another person. For some of you, it's fear. Um, for some of you, you really hurt this other person and you're scared they're going to reject you. Wow. Um, this person found out, the person that didn't have the third party found out about somebody else. You could be married or they could be married and there is another person in the mix too. This person found out about that and they're like, see ya. I got the truth. I'm no longer waiting for you. If you want it, this is your last chance. I'm only giving you one more chance. And if you don't take it, don't bother contacting me. Wow, that person is standing their ground because they know their value. They know their worth. They know that numerous people would love to be in a connection with them. But instead, they're sitting here waiting, waiting for with this unconditional love for you to come forward. There's the Queen of Cups here. And offer this uh, new opportunity to start over, to start fresh, wiping the slate clean. Yeah, they've been waiting at a distance. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, could be a water sign with fire in their chart. You know the drill. Um, they want to be your spouse. They want to be in a connection with you. But they also have two other ships coming in besides yours of options and they've been waiting here for a long time waiting for you to return waiting for your their ships to come in they're manifesting somebody who is going to come in offering them love so it's like i said it's that now or never energy if you don't face your fears and move forward making this offer they're gonna move on without you and you're gonna miss a huge opportunity for a love of a lifetime. I mean, look at these outcome cards. It's amazing. Plus, you got three aces in the spread, four aces in the spread alone. You have there. Okay, how do I want to word that? They had to heal and take time, quite a while, to heal their mind, body, and soul after the deceit, after the betrayal, after them. Being a third party. It took a long time for them to heal. So they're not settling. It's either you come at me with a legitimate offer. You come at me with the real deal. 110% committed. Or I'm done. No longer am I going to believe that. This will be ours eventually. Once you do this. Or once you do that. It's you better come with this today. Or not today. But you better come with this. As your offer. Because anything less, this person is not going to be any way impressed. And uh, they will move forward uh, without you if you don't make that big offer. Because they have believed you before. They believed you three times before for some of you. This is the fourth go-around of trying to make this happily ever after. And it took them a long time to truly get to a healing point where they could move on. Where they could accept other ships coming in. Um, so they're not going to settle. They're not going to chase. It's either offer me the real deal. Or watch me walk away type of energy. You also got the eight of swords and the eight of wands as spirit's advice. The truth needs to be communicated to between you and them. You and the other person. You whoever. Um, the truth needs to be spoken and communication needs to happen quickly. Um, communication about the fear, about the, the betrayal, the things that were hidden um, from this other person. Because they already know. Whether you know it or not, they already know what's going on. So it's time to come forward and speak that truth. I thought, all right, 
why is the Ace of Swords here? With the Eight of Wands, why is the Ace of Swords here? And eights are all about action now. Like, take action now. Like, you've had years to think about this for some of you. Uh, you've had years to, or months, you know, weeks, whatever. Yeah, the, the secrets need to come out. The truth needs to be spoken. The hidden feelings um, about how you truly feel need to be um, spoken about. The truth needs to come out about the deep feelings and the secret person. The secrets that were kept. Um, why the offer wasn't made in the past. Why I ghosted you. Why I left you out in the cold. Why I kept you in the dark. All that needs to be spoken. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Because this person, for some of you, this person is very intuitive. Um, and they know on a deeper level. Like, nobody even had to tell them. They just know. They're waiting for you to speak it. Um, to know if you're going to be honest with them. Um, or they're going to communicate, I'm done. Because this is the completion. The old way of doing things has to be gone. And a new commitment, a new slate wiped clean. Truth be told, here going forward, it's you and I or this person is walking away because they have somebody who wants their wants a relationship with them, wants their love. And if they don't want a solid commitment, they have plenty of offers for a uh, fly-by-the-night type of connection. They have numerous offers that they have been holding back on, uh, waiting for you to come forward um, or, you know, vice versa, whatever. Um, all right. In your outcome, you have the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, which is wifey or husband because, you know, they're not gender specific. So why is the Hierophant here in the outcome of this connection? It's like the two of you have a spiritual connection. The two of you like have a higher, um, like you just know this person is like in my soul, in my heart. You can just feel it. But you're, you also, one of you, or you know, one of you hurt the other one very deeply, um, very, uh, it's like with no regard to their feelings, you were not contributing to the relationship. You were, um, spreading your energy out and about not concentrating on this relationship, um, Keeping secrets. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Ooh. The King of Wands. Look at that. This is the same person. This person could be fire sign or earth sign. You see them as somebody you can create and build a life with. For some of you, the two of you are meant to start a business together. That will be very, very abundant. And that's your beautiful opportunity. For some of you, one of you is an air, uh, fire sign. One of you is an earth sign. Um, you know, but it doesn't have to be. You just hold those qualities. Um, but there is... The two of you have an opportunity to create not only love um, for each other. Like a deeper bond. But a business. Um, just really... You have the whole world by your hand or you know in your hands if you choose to but you have to face that fear you have to get out of this place of being stuck why is the two of cups here in the outcome there is that soul connection to each other there is a deep bond um and intuitively you know where you need to go the two wow look at this if you don't follow your intuition and move towards this two of cups person if you don't take the uh action now to follow your deep passion and to move towards this person they are going to move away from you they are going to leave the connection this also could be um in the the new moon that's coming um like if if you don't make a choice by then they'll be gone because things are changing destiny you know the two of you are destined um to be with each other but we all have free will so if you don't take that those steps towards this person who you feel is your destiny 
then the universe will um, bring that healing in. The stars will align and this person will move on and, uh, and find happiness elsewhere. Um, they're not going to stay around their whole life when they have new love knocking at their door. Why is this star here as the outcome? Okay, you have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So healing from this betrayal is here for both of you. But it's time to release somebody that you're married to. The Queen of Swords is somebody who you uh, who comes out a divorced person. There's betrayal here, but yet they're still holding on to this. Um, the star will bring you... a you know, the ability to get unstuck, but it's all in your mind. You have to release this. You have to get out of those thoughts that this won't work, that this won't happen. And once you do, you will get unstuck and you will get that justice that you, um, that you deserve, that you need releasing the karma. Wow. 10 of cups. And you will finally get that wish fulfillment of a fulfilled life, happiness, joy, bliss, success a partner coming in and an equal vibration that is going to be able to create a new life new cycles or a new chapter with you that is abundant and full of passion and desire uh pretty good combination of uh having abundance and passion for somebody they're waiting but they will not wait much longer um and if you don't take action, somebody else will. Because there is more than one person wanting to connect with this person. And there's one person that can offer this the other one a strong commitment that, that that other person will take if you don't take action. So if that fit with you, take it. Take the advice before it's too late. Um, if it didn't fit with you, I do apologize. Um... I am trying to catch up on personal readings still, uh, and I wanted to get that Pluto-Saturn conjunction video out because it is so important that you know how it's going to affect each house because it's bringing in major changes, so check it out. All right, guys, thank you, and I send you my love. God bless.